Shalom, everyone, and welcome. This is Rabbi Moshe Leder, Chabad of University City, uh, bringing to you another one of my messages before Passover. First of all, a few announcements. If anyone still needs some shmura matzah, the round hand baked matzah, I have a few um, to uh, let you have. Also, if you haven't sold your chametz yet, please do so before Wednesday. You can do it at ChabadUC.org, which is our website. ChabadUC.org, you should sell your house and, and offices or any other places you have. Also, it is customary to give Maus Chitim extra tzedakah, extra charity during this time for people who don't have food for Pesach, who need things, and also to help the shul out because we're having a difficult time right now with the uh, virus situation. We need to pay our bills like everyone else does, and donations are down. So um, please help us out if you haven't already. I want to thank those people who have sent donations. Thank you very much. It's really, really appreciated. I'd like to share with you a few thoughts. First of all, at the Seder this year, I would suggest we have a fifth question. The fifth question is quite obvious. Why is this year different from all other years? And the answer is, on all other years, well, the question, I guess, continues, on all the other years, we have lots of family and friends at our Seder, and this year we only have us, only have a few people, just our family, and that's it. It's a very good question, and the children, I'm sure, will be asking that question uh, this year as well. And the question is, well, how is the Seder going to be different from all other Seders? How is this year going to be different? Well, a friend of mine in Toronto, my dear friend Zale Newman, uh, mentioned an interesting point that probably, not probably, but most likely this year, there will be more seders taking place in the world than any other time since the Torah was given at Sinai 3,300 years ago. Think about it. Every single nook and cranny throughout the world, everyone will be having their own seders at home. How many seders could that possibly be? It's an unbelievable thing. And we know that before the redemption comes, before Mashiach comes, there has to be a revelation of godliness in the world. There has to be a, a, a outpouring of Jewish, Jewish life and of Jewish energy uh, in the world. And in addition to Jewish energy, there has to be an emphasis on kindness and goodness throughout the world as well. People helping each other and being there for each other. And I don't think Virtually any time in history has that ever happened so much like it's happening right now. So that's a tremendous thing. Some people have been asking, well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't make a Seder this year. It's too depressing. I'm all by myself. There's no one else around me. Well, I think I'll just skip Passover this year. Let me give you a thought. Perhaps that's the whole point of this, that you, just you by yourself, should have their own, your own Seder. Because you are as important as the most important people in the world. And God is looking at you and you're looking at me and looking at our neighbors to make sure that that Seder will be there. And that person will always be there and sitting at a Seder. As the Lubavitcher Rebbe used to point out that the fifth cup of wine is designed for the, the, uh, the person who is not even at a Seder, who's far away from Judaism. And for that person, we need to bring them back in. And this is really the story of this Passover, bringing everybody back in, the, from the multitude to the, to the smallest person, to the most alone person. Everyone should sit and eat matzah and drink wine and have maror and tell the story of Passover, because perhaps this is what God wants us to be, to do at the very last end of Passover. Give that some thought, my friends. Finally, I'd just like to mention that this Wednesday morning, I will be giving a C on the conclusion of a tractate of, uh, of the Talmud. It'll start with uh, a minyan at 8 o'clock in the morning, followed by the Siyam. It's customary for the firstborn to fast unless they hear a Siyam, unless they hear a conclusion of a tractate of the Talmud. So I will be doing that on Wednesday morning, starting at 8 a.m. To get the link for Zoom for that, contact Chabad of Pacific Beach, and they would be happy to provide for you the link uh, to get on the minion with that. We hope we'll have lots of people uh, coming and davening all together at that time, and then we'll have the CM together. So I want to wish everyone a kosher and a happy Passover. If you need anything, if you have any questions about anything, 
please let me know. We love you all. I'm thinking of each and every one of you at this time. And I know that we are all together, all of us, even though we're in our separate houses, but we are all together. We are as one. Shalom. And I'll speak to you again during Cholomoy, during the middle days.